Okay, we're going. Okay, first of all, happy belated th American Thanksgiving. What are you most Thank thankful you. for? Uh, my wife and my children. And how old are your kids? 13 and 14. That's awesome. I'd like to know, um, I've read that you hadn't felt more excited about making an album that you did with uh, Blaster. Has the same youthful feeling held true with your new uh, tour guitarist, Nick? Yeah, Nick's a great player. Um, I mean, it was just a terrible tragedy losing Jeremy. He was my main collaborator on writing Blaster. Um, and he was just a truly force. Um, but uh, Nick stepped in and has really filled those shoes. That's great to hear. That really is. I was listening to <laughs> rock radio station the other day where Bosch was playing. I've got to say your songs still stand out amidst all the music that tries to pass itself off as alternative. How would you define your music legacy? Um, I've always looked at us as a band, uh, as first, first off, um, the bands I've been in uh, as rock and roll, um, but I've always looked at us also as bands that change from album to album and morph into different sounds. I think to stay in one sound is, uh, is a career killer. Yeah, you know what? It actually is. I think it's pretty safe to say that you're one of the most stylish frontmen ever. If you could give some tips to up-and-comers on how to successfully balance rock attitude with fashion, what would it be? Black suit, white shirt, skinny black tie. That's it? That's all there is to it? That's a good place to start. If Scott Leland was alone in a zombie apocalypse, or ever stranded on a desert island, which of the albums that you were involved in would want to be the one you'd want to have the most with you? Well, if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I wouldn't be playing music because that would attract zombies. <laughs> um, and I'd have to use my katana sword. Uh, but if I was on a desert island and it was one of my albums that I had to choose from, I would choose Tiny Music. And is that the one that you're most proud of? I think that's STP's most creative album. Great. Okay, you're the most wonderful time of the year is a guilty holiday pleasure of mine. If you were ever to do a sequel of what new or traditional Christmas favorites, what would it include? Um, that's a tough question. Uh, what's that, uh, I can't think of the name of the song right now. Um, and I almost recorded it last Christmas. The, uh, John Lennon Christmas song. I can't think of the name of it. I know what you're, one you're talking about. Is it, it's Christmas time? Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. I think that might be the name of it. Nice. I love how you also put out an album of nothing but cover songs in a few years back. Who is the one artist, living or dead, that you'd want to collaborate with? David Bowie. Now why David Bowie? Out of everybody on the planet. He's my biggest influence uh, musically, uh, vocally, and fashion-wise. I can see the fashion, for sure. Um, well, nothing has been officially announced. You have been quoted as saying the classic Guns N' Roses lineup will reunite next year. Do you still hope to bring back Velvet, Re Velvet Revolver one day? I'd be open to it. Really? I wasn't expecting that answer. I'm quite happy about that. And um, I'd like to know what is the most extreme thing that's ever happened to you on the road, whether it be good, bad, indifferent, with a fan. Um, let's see. In the early days, there were some R-rated things that went on, but uh, I'd say the craziest thing was 
grabbing a uh, golf cart and taking it through the trails in the woods. And did you crash it? No, but we did break the axle. Nice, nice. Okay, and what is your most favorite thing food-wise to uh, eat on the road? Your favorite spot place to stop? Stopping somewhere for a good steak. That and sushi. Nice. And we're done. All right. That's it. Do you mind if I get a picture with you for the... Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. For there, picture. you can do it for me. <laughs> He's here. Can I get you guys just a little bit, just a little bit yeah. of light here? Yeah, because it's a nice the shot. The lights get up on the red. Yeah, that's perfect.